This video discusses how to create and use multiple email signatures in Outlook. So email signatures in Outlook are super helpful because you can put all your company information and every email to people, whether it's a new email or reply or forward, and you can have you know, your email, your telephone number, your best contact information, maybe a backup person in your office, your website, social media, pretty much anything you want. You can have your business motto or your logo, so many things. So the email signatures in Outlook are really, really handy. Um, however, not everyone can figure out where they are because if you go, you can go through all these menus and I struggle to find them there, but where you do find them is if you open up an email, they're right here. So it's odd that they're not in any of these menus up here where you would normally expect to find settings like that, but rather you have to actually open an email to find it. So once you open up a new email, uh, in the message tab here, you go to signature and you just click on that and you can click on signatures to add a new one. You can see I have a couple in here. So to create one, you just click new and I'm gonna just get to type a name and then click okay. And now I have all this area right here to make whatever I want. So I'm gonna pick the font that we use and the size that I want. And I can start typing, put in our website uh, and whatever else you want, right? So I'm not going to type a bunch of stuff out here, but the idea is that you would create something that looks more like, let me click, uh, it's going to ask me to save, here we go, my original one, which is this, and here's all my uh, contact information and our website, my blog site, pretty much everything I would want to share with somebody if I were emailing them. Here's where the problem comes in. If I email somebody and we're in an email thread and I have all this at the bottom of mine and they have all that at the bottom of theirs, maybe even more, and then we're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, five, six, seven times, the email gets really clunky with this same information over and over and over and over again. And it's not exactly necessary. So what you can do is create a secondary email signature. I have one right here and I've named it replies because it's that simple and makes sense for me. What you do is you create another email signature and you, uh, by just clicking the new button again, give me a name, and then you put in here what you want to share. And maybe I could put a phone number in here. That would probably make sense for me. Put that information in there and then use that as your, basically you want the minimal contact information here, right? Like at this point, somebody knows kind of what business you work for and they know your email and they know your website and stuff, but they might not have your phone number handy. So the idea is to keep emails from being clunky, but yet still having the information readily available and handy for those people. So if they actually need to reach out to you, they can, and they don't have to scroll down, you know, an email thread of 20 emails trying to figure out well, where was their phone number or whatever it may be. So well, all I did for this is I just created a new email so I traded new, I named it, I put in the information I want, I saved it. But the most important piece here is, is that over here you set your defaults. So a new message says default, which is this one here. So all my new messages are going to have the bulky info, right? The full, the full thing. And then on my replies and forwards, I've set my secondary default to replies. So anytime I reply or forward an email, it's going to include this. And the important piece about this is not just creating them here, but making them the defaults over here. If you don't apply them as a default, every time you open an email, it's just going to be blank. And that's not going to work very well. So um, I have my example here. So I'm going to close this. Now, the other beauty, the nice thing is, is you could say you're um, part of a group that's a short term group or some sort of um, short term project or something like that. And you might want to use a different email signature for that. You can do that. And let's say that's what my example is. The nice thing is once you open up an email, and even though that one's not a default, I can click example and it's going to toggle. So notice it didn't just amend this to the other existing one. And now I've got two, it, it toggles. So anytime you maybe change your mind about what you want to use, or maybe you have several in here, you can just click on here, even though you have a default and just pick whichever one you want. And it'll just toggle between them all. And so that's kind of how you can quickly access them, but you do definitely want to make them the default. That way, every time you open an email or you do reply, you don't have to then go over here and go to a signature to try to add the signature because that's kind of painful. And that's how you create and use multiple email signatures in Outlook. 